इंट्यूशन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अस वी आर ऑल इंट्यूटिव वी आर ऑल क्रिएटिव क्लियर अबाउट इट दैट जहां मेरी रिस्पेक्ट नहीं है वहां मैं नहीं रहूंगी इट लिटरली रिस्टोर्ड माई फेथ इन लाइफ एंड लव we can create our own future relationship is not such a joke it it has a lot of expectations the fears within you comes from the subconscious energy a lot of young lady, girls i meet these days are like ma'am i don't want to get married i'm scared to get married guilty <laughs> you know in this chaotic world sometimes you meet a person who just restores your faith in love their courage their charismatic personality and just the way they perceive the world changes something inside you and no i'm not talking about any guy here i'm talking about a today's guest and this is how i felt when i met her the first time she is her breath call she is an eminent tarot card reader and one of the ambassadors of women empowerment in my eyes she is an award winning celebrity coach who's helping women change their lives and become independent by learning and teaching tarot She is an astrologist, a psychic, a numerologist, and an amazing personality. The way she impacts people's lives is impeccable. And her crazy, inspiring story, the way she lives her life, her whole lifestyle, and the way she conducts herself, the way she speaks, damn, I love everything about her. So if you are also intrigued to know what value she has to offer, do watch the podcast till the end. If you are interested in tarot card reading or any kind of sciences that can help you balance your emotions and lifestyle then do watch it and let me know what did you learn in the comments This is the first part of a two part series with her preet ma'am and trust me when i say this half way through the episode you will already be waiting for the second part I think this is one of the most deepest conversations i've had in my life So this podcast will definitely make you dive deeper into what goes through your subconscious mind what are your fears and what's stopping you in achieving your goals but it will also give you the solutions so do watch till the end and this time i want you to type in the comments what went through your heart and mind while you were watching it so let's begin a lot of value wow moments and goosebumps are waiting for you ahead this one is going to be one of the best Do watch it and let me know how you felt. Hello, Arpreet, ma'am. Welcome to Convo with Aish. And firstly, I'm very grateful that you agreed to this. I really thought you wouldn't. So thank you. There's nothing like that to disagree, Aishi. You are a wonderful soul, and it's so good to connect with you here. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for this privilege. Okay. Oh my God. Thank you. It's actually honoring and humbling for me. So, without any distraction, I want to jump in the first place. I want to jump in your story because it is so inspiring. in the first time i saw you and i met you it literally restored my faith in life and love specifically so i really want first of all start with your amazing story so that we get to know you a little bit better thank you so much ayushi uh, i'll try to keep it short and simple because i know it's a very long story we all have stories and i'm just probably blessed today to share mine i'm sure we all coming from different uh, families and different situations have stories so uh mine is a very simple story of a simple girl uh who has been brought up in a very very strict family and uh, like i always say and i laugh it out that my father was nothing less than a hitler and i always say like that and i always wanted to marry my dream boy uh with this thing in my head of course i got married in 2005 uh, to an army officer uh but the way i thought marriage would be it turned out to be completely different i married a guy who was very very organized highly disciplined very strict and always serious so love never happened that he was very very organized and disciplined into his life yeah. however you know because with <clears throat> such people you know it's very difficult to connect so uh, but it was in co- completely arranged marriage so you can imagine you know so i was trying to adjust uh, 6 months of our marriage i conceived and within one year plus my son was born and that was like something that again that was one of my dream i i used to love children and when my son was born i was like the most happiest person on the earth life started going ahead because you know once you have children you get so busy along with them bringing them up and you know army life keeps you busy um you have parties to attend you have a lot of social responsibilities when you're part of the army life and i never realized that actually uh, both of us were not sharing a bond and at one point one of us i think would have taken decision to move on uh 2011 uh 10 11 we were posted in ladakh and i just got to know that you know he's talking to one of his ex batchmate and 
that was the break break even point that you know i could not take it uh, honestly no woman can take her husband yeah. talking to another woman and that is where things started getting really bad uh, one one year i tried enough to tell him uh, to leave her to get things in order but it did not happen and then i decided to you know separate with the child with hardly any money in my hand i was dependent i used to work in schools but not too much of salary i was financially dependent i had a child i came back to delhi and of course when i decided to take this decision um, as a family my mother was concerned about my son and she felt that i should not go ahead with that decision but i was you know rigid about it and i was clear about it that jahan meri respect nahi hai wahan main nahi rahungi and because of this meri aur meri mom ke beech mein bhi relationship kharab hone laga and i decided to move to one to a house uh, so i took a rented house rented accommodation with my son again challenges began because i had no money as i said i was financially dependent gold mujhe bechna pada apna matlab whatever i had i had to sell it off bahut zyada gold nahi tha mere paas but i had to sell it off for my child for his future that is when the struggle started of realizing that i need to do something so starting from school jobs where i was actually suffering i was not happy because you know wherever i used to work they used to not give me a good salary uh, and also you know teach they always had clashes with the principal i don't know why they were after me i think they knew that i need the job so they would do anything to trouble me highly <laughs> relatable i think people who are simple always have problems with the principals of the school right <laughs> anyways <laughs> so i was really struggling you coming back home crying disturbed not happy in school life already you know my house is at a mess were like you know it is, but i cannot do a full time job like with a child it's next to yes. impossible i don't have anyone to manage him so struggling but i one thing that i since my childhood even when i, I had a strict childhood i had a very disturbed childhood also i have this tendency to think beyond it to think what can i do to change it and that was my spirit of you know i kept going to think what else can i do so i was trying to figure out different career options and i still remember i used to go to a tarot card reader you know like we all do that you know when i was going through a tough time i started visiting her i used to question her what's my future what am i doing where do i go and we all get when we get into trouble we finds one person to go to yeah so one fine day she told me that you know alpreet why don't you learn tarot and i still remember that day i was like you know how can i as a normal person learn tarot because that time tarot was not such a big thing and for me it yes. was something that that maybe psychic people can read maybe people who have those intuitive powers can read yeah. who am i to read like i was just thinking that i have nothing no idea about what is this about and then she told me you know all this is a myth anyone can read you just have to have that integrity have that ethicality as a reader i feel that with your experiences you can really help a lot of people and you know like i thought ki chalo theek hai jaise hum bolte hain na chalo ye bhi karke dekh lete hain ye bhi karke dekh lete hain sab to kar liya at this point what was the age of your son uh i think uh, he was around 5 or 6 oh my god that's really young yeah he was very young and i was like that's what i was just struggling around like what do i how do i go ahead with this and that is when i just thought ki chalo theek hai sikh lete hain sikha maine and then uh, the only good thing that i had is that by the time i had a good circle i you know i was active on facebook i started getting back to all my friends because i was looking out for help for job so by the time i had created a good circle so when i told all my friends that i've learned tarot they really helped me by you know um by sending it to their friends by telling their friends to you know take readings from me and that's how they helped me and i started getting readings immediately as soon as i finished it and because i had to do something i also immediately started uh, taking doing action yes and i cannot tell you that i actually realized that you know sitting at home with my child i was actually i started earning more than what i was getting in my school job and not only this the kind of respect and the blessing that i was looking for you know because again in school so for me respect is the most important thing you know if you don't respect me i would not be happy even if, even if you offer me like a good amount of income at yes. home you're do i'm doing this people are coming back to me they're thanking me they're blessing me and you know i also i don't know why but i started getting a lot of women who were going through the same trouble in their life you know they were going through an abusive marriage they were going through a marriage where husbands would not respect them but the only question was i cannot take this decision because i have a child because i am financially dependent and because i have no support from the family these three reasons were majorly a part of their 
प्रॉब्लम राइट एंड आई वु जस्ट कम टू देम यू बिकॉज आई थिंक जब हम बोलते हैं कि आप ये कर सकते हो दे माइट नॉट लिसन पर जब आप ये बोलते हो कि मैं नहीं किया है और आप अगर मैं कर सकती हूँ तो आप ये कर सकते हो आई थिंक दैट इज वेन दे यूज टू गेट इंस्पायर नॉट येस एग्जाम्पल्स आर ऑलवेज बेटर सो आई थिंक दैट इज वॉट इंस्पायर दैम एंड आई स्टार्टेड रियलाइजिंग दैट वाई एम आई हेव आई एक्चुअली स्टार्ट रियलाइजिंग दैट वाई एम आई डूइंग दिस टूडे and that is when eventually you know i also uh, of course after a lot of experiences into reading uh, people started asking me to start teaching tarot uh, you know te- teaching them tarot and that's when tarot coaching started and since then there has been no looking back my mission is very simple i only teach women i only want to work on women and tarot for me is a tool to just reach them to guide them to how they can be financially mentally and emotionally independent how they can work on their subconscious healing how they can work into creating a journey of self respect and self reliance and so that's about it <laughs> yeah. and of course i forgot to tell you that i'm married uh, for the second time uh, and i'm really really blessed that i have a guy in my life who i met when i was going through this trouble time he is my friend uh, we used to work together in college uh, during my college time and i met him again through facebook i think so this was destiny and he came into my life as a blessing and he's been with my pillar and we both are working together now and uh, we are living a very happy life my son is uh, is the head boy of the school he's wow. in college now yeah so this is how life changes i think this is all the blessing of tarot also as i feel that since <coughs> it has come into my house my life has changed completely okay so earlier you mentioned about the image of your dream boy so it does he match the description now <laughs> yeah i think you know uh, for me who is a hero a hero is someone who saves you from any problem that you're going through and you know a hero jaise hum movies dekhte the yaad hai hum log i still remember shahrukh khan and salman khan movies that we used to watch and we used to feel yaar hero kaun hota hai of course ek hota tha from the point of looks and dusra hota tha from the point of ki jo sab gundon se lad leta hai aur jo ladki ko bacha leta hai <laughs> So obviously, when I was going through my tough time, and when there was no one that was with me actually, and he came into my life to help me, support me, stand by me, even I, you know, even I was going through depression at that point. And this is something I've not mentioned to a lot of people. When I was going through this time of living all alone, without my family, without my mother, without my sister, and you know, dealing with my child and trying to give him the best of life, I didn't really realize that I was going into depression. and he met me at the time that i was a disaster you know because i would actually scream at him i would actually get very angry at times but he stood by me no matter what happened my divorce took a lot of time to um, you know get over but he was there with me as my pillar and so i think yes uh, for me that's a true hero to who stood by me in my toughest of time and being with me throughout my journey wow i want to give a special salute to abhishek sir because this <laughs> is <laughs> genuinely a huge thing is when you are a mess you actually push people away and to stick through that person is a big thing it's a big thing actually when you're going through such a time to amazing so this is actually the thing when i see your post your photos aap hamesha kuch na kuch masti kar rahe ho and your chemistry together is so nice so this is what like ye hai couple goals ye chahiye absolutely and i think there is nothing called a perfect couple it's good to be imperfect as a couple but it's good to accept each other adjust with each other learn to love each other is what a perfect couple is yeah. wow brilliantly put okay so now let's start from the very beginning kyunki abhi ye bahut popular hai but fir bhi bahut se log aise jinhe nahi pata hai ki tarot actually hota kya hai so if you can just describe yeah. what kind of a science is this or is this something else and where does it come from so you know everything we look around is an energy right and today what you say is magic is tomorrow is science you know like for example ek time tha jab log bolte the yaar ki uh, ek time aayega jab hum hawa mein udenge jab hmm. kisi ne ye baat kahi hogi to tab logo ko laga hoga ki kaisi baat hai you know this is absolutely impossible yeah. for them it would have been more like a magic ki kaise koi ud sakta hai hawa mein and then yes. you know airplane were invented right so tarot is a magical journey today what you think is magic can be tomorrow's science and this is a magical journey which help you to actually reach out to people and to help and guide them so one thing that i always uh, feel is that tarot is a tool for guidance and counseling and not prediction it came into our life at a time when people started realizing that you know with cards and especially i'm sure you uh, you play cards at home right tash hum sab khelte hain diwali pe hum sab प्ले करते हैं 
सो दे वॉज अ टाइम दैट पीपल सारेड फीलिंग दैट ये जो ताश है ये जो कार्ड्स है जिससे हम खेलते हैं दे कैन बी यूज टू रीड एंड दे कैन बी यूज डिवाइनेशन टूल टू हेल्प पीपल एंड दैट वॉज द आइडिया टू क्रिएट टैरोडेक्स राइट सो दिस इज दिस वॉज क्रिएटेड इन नाइनटीन ओ नाइन जो हमारा फर्स्ट डेक आया था वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट डेक वॉज ओरिजिनल राइट वेरी रीजन yes it's very recent and it's a very very western concept uh, right and still a lot of people are trying still trying to make it very indian concept by saying ye mat karo ye mat khao ye mat pehno you know i think we need to always understand it's a very westernized concept that came and uh, the mindset was very clear that with this tool we can actually reach uh, people's subconscious self and help them and guide them as we always remember that we are the creator of our own life and let's not forget that we can create our own future and we need to start believing this more instead of asking kal kya hoga kaise hoga we need to understand ki mera kal mera aaj mein chupa hai agar main aaj ko correct kar lu agar main aaj ko behtar kar lu to mera kal apne aap usi hisab se hone wala hai right so tarot is something that will help you figure out that you know it help you to know what you are doing what is your present energy where are you really going wrong what is that you really need to guide and how can you create the future that you want to create so that is why tarot came into existence and since then while you say that not lot of people know but i feel that mere time pe jab maine tarot shuru kiya tha yes this was true now it is evolving i think every second person is doing tarot and every second person is learning tarot and there are many people who are taking tarot card readings you know so it's become a popular tool now and uh, people are really liking this advanced way of reading where you're not predicting you're guiding i'm sure prediction and guidance is a huge difference because prediction sometimes can be scary like you know when when you hear terms like aapke sath aisa ho jayega you know sometimes you do get scared yes. right but you if you get to understand that you create your own future and you know with tarot you can actually help yourself to create a future that you really want in your life so that is a better way of reading ah, yeah. yeah amazing that is a great myth that you cleared right at the beginning so thank you for that अब एक और कंफ्यूजन आता है कि देर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ रीडिंग एक है टेरो और एक बहुत पॉपुलर चल रहा है एंजल कार्ड रीडिंग सो मेरे दिमाग में कंटिन्यूसली चलता रहता था कि इसमें डिफरेंस क्या है बट बिकॉज आई हैव नॉट ट्राइड नाइदर ऑफ सो कैन यू जस्ट स्टार्ट विद डिफरेंस Okay, so I'll talk about the tarot cards again. So I said, where did this come from? This came from the concept of we used to play cards, right? Now let's go back to playing cards. So you are playing in your house, you are playing in your house. Let's understand the concept of playing cards. Playing cards में क्या होता है? There is a section of sets, right? आपके sets होते हैं cards में, and there is also a king and the queen characters are there in your hmm. cards. I'm talking about the playing cards. Now yeah. tarot cards were you were created on the same version. It was created on the same version that it will have sets of cards called the suits, and it will also have the king and queen called the court cards. So these are the names that is given to them. so tarot cards a concept bahut hi different tha and it was created on the same version of the playing cards and this was where you could actually identify what's really happening as a subconscious energy and you know talk about a lot of other thing guiding taking them to the kind of future that they want to make making them understand whether this person is right for you this career is right for you mm-hmm. should you go ahead or if you want to go ahead what's the right way to get go ahead with this relationship or the job so there was many many versions to it now can you also analyze the situations that you might be directed towards in for, further in your life absolutely yes okay. ultimately like i said we need to work on our present so we need to understand why where are we moving and why are we moving in a certain direction and mm-hmm. how we can walk the right path so i like i always say it says nothing to fear like for example if i tell you ki yaar kal bahut zyada barish hone wali hai if i if i actually say that to you now would you feel scared or would you just take care of it like in terms of ki ya to main kal bahar nahi jaungi ya main precautions Yeah, so that is what we are saying. So when we we guide you towards your future, we actually guide you in terms of how you can work into it, right? So eventually, people started creating different different decks, and उसमें से कुछ decks आए जैसे आपने बोला angel cards आए, ठीक है? अब angel cards are not tarot cards. Reason they don't follow a set of cards. Now, what is the major difference? Is something you can understand. They don't follow set follow a set of cards. उसमें sets नहीं है, different different sets नहीं है, उसमें court cards नहीं है, राजा रानी नहीं है. It's a number of cards. Like say twenty two cards, general cards है. उसमें angelic messages आपको दिए हुए हैं, ठीक है? Oh. Angel cards को लोगों ने create किया है with a different concept where people just draw cards and say this is the angel message for you. Message is already given on the card. So this is how people are following the concept. Now I I believe it's good, but it's not good for someone who is not intuitive. Right. This should be the right. second stage of reading. 
so a lot of people and this is another message that i want to give through this uh, podcast today is that a lot of people these days are following uh, a, you know a method of reading which is which is why you know the card has the message on it hmm. for me it's called cheating for me yeah. it's like you know hum exam dene gaye aur humne bas parchi padi thi aur humne padhi par humne kaha ye raha iska answer hai humne wohi likh ke chhod diya now if you are not an intuitive tarot reader and if you not learn the right way of reading a card and you get a set of card if your mentor or if anyone is giving you the set of card ki yaar isme to sab kuch likha hua hai aapko to bas padh ke bolna hai do you think the same message is applicable for the entire world not at all it's misguiding now it is misguiding because you're not trying to connect to your intuitive powers you're not trying to work on your creative power as a reader and you will never be able to connect because you never worked into it you got an easy method आज हमको सबको आसान रास्ता चाहिए है ना हमको सबको yeah. चाहिए कि अपने आप सब हो जाए हमें क्यों मेहनत करनी सो फिर मी वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट एंजल कार्ड इज अ गुड आइडिया बट मेक श्योर दैट यूर इंट्यूटिवली रीडिंग दैट एंड नॉट बाय द मैसेज दैट इज गिवन बिकॉज दैट मैसेज इज अ डीपर मीनिंग इन टू इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ ईच पर्सन एंड ईच पर्सन एनर्जी सो वी नीड टू यू नो डाइव इन टू दैट we don't just don't have to be a reader who's just picking up the card and this is a message for you yeah so uh, okay in my number of cards kitne hote hai? like tarot mein number of cards angel cards mein same hote hain different hote hain no, or how they different so they are different as i said uh, so tarot because it follows a concept of set of cards and it follows a concept of uh, like i said the king and queen the court cards it also also follow a concepts of uh, cards uh, sections called major arcana and minor arcana of course people who know about it knows that so uh, rider weight specially has 78 cards okay. right when we move to osho then that is another uh, we call it a tarot deck only it has 79 cards so they have different different decks but they will always have maximum number of cards now with when you move to angel cards there might be shorter number of cards like 22 cards honge chote number mm-hmm. of sections honge to unka koi number fix nahi hai kyunki aajkal aap dekh to sorry to say aajkal har koi uth ke apna deck bana raha that's what is happening in the market yeah. yeah so people are creating deck on their own concepts on their own belief system on their own logics right so that's what is happening in the market so these are all different concepts that people are creating like love and relationship decks bana liye love decks bana liye mm-hmm. heart deck bana liye kai logon ne to superstitious mein bhi decks banane shuru kiye hain ki ye ram ye ram 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 ka deck hai you know all the gods god ki bhi deck oh my god <laughs> this so is i'm saying that nowadays market is full of different decks that people are creating now what i t- truly follow is this deck with original rider weight because it came at a time when actually it started mm. uh, so people actually did it in the very beginning of this uh, whole idea jaise maine ka 1909 mein sabse pehle one of the deck that came into picture was original rider which so i'm teaching this of course it is uh, very difficult to understand because a lot of things that comes from that era like the raja yes. will come from that era the rani the throne the crowns and but when i make when i teach these cards i make it so easy for my students they say that ma'am it's so easy to learn one because or i'm very passionate about it two i feel that you know when you emphasize on reading and connecting with the real uh, situation of your life you know i connect each card with your life situation which we go through on a daily basis and which we need to learn from i think it becomes really easy Now, that needs a lot of experience yeah that is of course there and that is another thing that one one as a coach need to understand that when you are really willing to coach you have to have a lot of experience as a reader first yes because that is how you can coach people better because i think reading will help so nowadays a lot of people are learning and coaching you know learning and coaching so uh-huh. that's right we need to first practice it enough times we need to have that maximum number of readings and we have to need to have those real experiences to be a coach so yes. the, that experience will come with time and of course mujhe lagta hai ek aur benefit ho gaya ki i think i've been teaching in schools for a lot of times so i think people really connect with me on that point that they really feel that you know they can like i can teach better because i've been a teacher for a very long time so that really helps me like we connect the dot backwards now and we yes. realize that why i did i go through all that grinding of being a teacher in school and now i can really relate to that that's really helping me here I think that's exactly where i also relate a lot because i also have taught in international schools for 4 5 years so wow. my teaching base is also from there and the principal thing you said i relate to that also <laughs> i think it's because we are unfiltered we don't think before we say yeah i mean yeah that is one thing and i think when you are someone who is simple and who believes in just yeah. focusing on the work uh, yeah. because nowadays it's become a lot of business minded school they have a lot of expectations from you i think there is where we are not able to fit in that's what yeah. i feel true 
Okay, so if we are a beginner, someone who is just starting to learn tarot, how should they go about it, or how do you do it in your community? How do you start with them? Thank you, thank you for that question. So, uh, I always take them back to school. Now, let's go back to school life. You know, when we were in school, you remember, हमे ना school में ना बहुत सारे questions में आता था. कि इस पिक्चर को का वर्णन कीजिए इस पिक्चर को देख के बताइए इस पिक्चर में क्या चल रहा है याद आ रहा है सबको हिंदी की क्लास में सबको याद आ रहा होगा राइट तो हिंदी में बहुत बार बोलते थे कि इस पिक्चर का वर्णन कीजिए यू नो एंड हम मेजरली जो मुझे आज भी याद है कि वो एक गार्डन होता था उसमें कोई बच्चा बैट खेल रहा है यू नो वहां एक लेडी बैठी हुई है आई थिंक दिस दिस इज मोर अबाउट द पिक्चर दिस इज वन वे ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग की जब किसी पिक्चर को देखते तो हमें कैसा फील होता है You know what do we what do we see in that picture? Now that vision can be different for each person because that vision is coming from their own experiences of life, what what they have been going through emotionally, mentally. है ना तो vision सबका अलग अलग होता है आपने देखा होगा जब आप एक चार बच्चे बैठाओगे और उन्हें एक picture को देखने को read करने को बोलोगे तो हर बच्चे को एक अलग ही vision देखने को मिलेगा जो उनका एक internal vision भी है जो उनका subconscious vision है वो निकल के आता है बाहर and of course the creative vision कि आप कितने creative हो सकते हो एक picture को read करते हो So my first connect is to make them realize that let's go back to school and let's start picking up a card and read like a child. This card me kya chal raha hai? You know, when you see a card, you start seeing. Acha, isme ek ladka khada hai, ek dog hai, thode se pahad hai. Kya kya ho sakta hai? You know, what do you feel from the card? Is the first way to connect with the card because when we are starting as a reader, we might not be intuitive. Yes. And to talk about creativity, also I feel you know over the period of time, our creativity be blocked. Ho jati hai because we are at home, we are you know we just start doing different stuff, and you know creativity be kahi, our blockage will be. Always not possible. Always not possible. We were creative as a as a child, but a little bit, we eventually you know because we get busy with so many things that our creativity will be gone. But it is a part of us. Yes. 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 Yes
कि उसका अब आगे उसके साथ क्या क्या होने वाला है सो अगेन गोइंग बैक टू वेन आई मेड माई फर्स्ट बॉयफ्रेंड आई वॉज सो एक्साइटेड आई वॉज सो एनर्जेटिक आई वॉज सो हैपी एंड आई वॉज लाइक द स्काई इज द लिमिट एंड देन वेन आई एक्चुअली एंडेड अप हैविंग अ रिलेशनशिप विद दैट गाय आई केम टू अट ऑफ नो अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स यार रिलेशनशिप इज नॉट सच अ जो इट इट हैज अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेशन फिर बहुत सारी और भी कॉम्प्लिकेशन आती हैं कभी कभी धोखा भी मिलता है and all these experiences actually made me a matured experienced person so to each and everything when we start at at the full level when we are innocent and we are carefree and we are you know full of life clearly these experiences that we go through are just to make us a better person to transition us to a more powerful person and that experience was lead us to success अगर मैं अपनी लाइफ में सारी ग्राइंडिंग से नहीं गई होती जिसके बारे में मैं आज अपनी स्टोरी में बात कर रही थी तो क्या वो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन हो पाता क्या वो ट्रांजिशन हो पाता सो वेन आई टेकिंग आई एम टेकिंग यू थ्रू योर लाइफ की यू नो रिमेंबर जब आप स्कूल गए थे फर्स्ट दिन पे आपको कुछ नहीं पता था आज क्या होगा आप बस एक्साइटेड थे आप बैग पैक किया निकल गए आपको कुछ आइडिया नहीं है वहां पे क्या क्या होने वाला है बच्चे कैसे तंग करने वाले हैं टीचर कैसे होने वाले बट यू वॉज सुपर एक्साइटेड एंड वॉट एवर नेक्स्ट वॉज समथिंग दैट मेड यू एक्सपीरियंसड एंड नॉलेजेबल into that zone and then eventually you were prepared ki ab main jab jaungi college mein to mujhe pata hai mujhe kya kya chahiye mujhe kya kya nahi karna hai kya kya karna hai right and that's the journey of the fool when he stands there he's standing on a cliff can we see a cliff here yes. he's standing on a cliff now when he stands there look at his his neck he's just not bothered he's just walking with a carelessness ki mujhe like aaj hum jab bhi kahin jaate hain to hum niche bhi dekhte hain upar bhi dekhte hain piche bhi dekhte hain aage bhi dekhte hain because we are so calculative about everything hmm. आगे जाऊंगी तो मुझे बिजनेस में फायदा होगा या नहीं राइट right? कोई मुझे कुछ बोलेगा तो नहीं लोग मेरे बारे में क्या सोचेंगे दैट्स नॉट एन एनर्जी ऑफ अ चाइल्ड अ चाइल्ड डज नॉट थिंक ऑल दिस यू नो सो ही एट दैट एनर्जी ऑफ अ चाइल्ड एंड व्हाई डू आई कॉल हिम अ चाइल्ड अगेन आई अगेन लाइफ लाफ इट आउट एंड से लुक एट इट्स क्लोथ्स अब मैं हमेशा ऐसे बोलती हूँ आई एम सो आई होप दिस डजन गो टू रणवीर सिंह एट वन पॉइंट आई ऑलवेज सेट यू नो ऐसे रंगीन कपड़े या तो बच्चे पहनते हैं या रणवीर सिंह पहनते हैं दिस नो थर्ड एनर्जी दैट यू कैन लुक इन and you know you can clearly feel the the energy of a child here with those vibrant clothes and he's standing on a cliff so next step that he takes you know there's a possibility of a fall mm-hmm. but that fall is really important for you to rise because when we fall we rise above and this is the bigger message of the card that whatever you are starting take the leap of faith be limitless be carefree enjoy that journey of learning because that will take you to the success So this is the bigger message of the fool. So this is how they connect with the cart. And this is a beginner level learning. This is the level when I introduce them to my foundation course, which is like uh, I'm running a three days foundation course for them, and they learn this at the foundation course. Wow, this is beautiful. ये तो बहुत ज़्यादा interesting था. Exactly. If that's why the... most of them move into learning advanced. You know, like they they come with the mindset that, ma'am, I'm just to see how it will be, and we didn't uh-huh. even think of learning tarot, but with because it was so much fun that we then decided to learn tarot. So that is why it is so interesting to learn. It is very like. If you get a little taste, then you can't just like sit and look at how it is. Once you are into it, you will be into it fully. Yeah. So earlier you said that you know, there is a subconscious mind. Yeah. 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 Ye
we kind of want to pretend that we are strong and because i'm saying this again because i've done this into my life you know when you kind of say that i, I don't care I mean, let it be i don't want to talk about it i don't want to think about it i'm way stronger than this and of course we all want to believe that but it does have an impact and you do realize it has an impact on your relationship the fears within you comes from the subconscious energy when you fear to get married a lot of young lady, girls i meet these days are like ma'am i don't want to get married i'm scared to get married guilty <laughs> see that is why i say that i i really connect with this young generation because i know where it is coming from now a lot of children you know they have the fear of uh, fear of a lot of things exam mein fail ho jayenge kyun because that pressure that subconscious feeling of kabhi mamma ne danta hoga papa ne mara hoga you know so so many things that they go through on a psychological level is coming from that subconscious energy which we need to start dealing with because i really truly believe that we are moving into a generation where i feel everybody is going through something you know pehle ka time bahut acha tha yaar simple life thi badi families thi masti chalti thi kuch lene ki ichha nahi thi life mein bahut kuch achieve karne ki ichha nahi thi we were happy with what we had now everybody wants to have everything families choti ho gayi hai social bilkul khatam ho gaya hai it's more of facebook insta that you guys especially insta that this generation is you know moving into and it's it's become very unrealistic world for them very competitive world for them they feel acha dekho agla banda itna kar raha hai main nahi kar pa rahi hu you know look at my friend she's enjoying where am i but competition has come between all of us yeah. and i feel every day we are dealing with a lot of anxiety guilt depression that we need to encounter and all this is coming from that experiences mera bachpan kaisa tha mujhe kisi ne kuch kaha tha mera boyfriend ne mujhe ditch kiya tha you know the relationship issues my parents didn't have a good marriage so i'm scared of marriage you know i had a child of abuse i'm scared uh, physical touch i i i understand that you know why is that coming from because somebody touched you in a wrong way and, and women need to start talking about these factors and these things which are which are stored some subconsciously isko humne kabhi baat hi nahi kari kabhi encounter hi nahi kiya are really becoming our reality now are really troubling us in our day to day life and that is why we are not able to grow growth will only happen when you deal with this energies and you know you become a more, more positive version of yourself not from the conscious self कि हम ये जो देख रहे हैं कि हम हंस रहे हैं एंजॉय कर रहे हैं पार्टी कर रहे हैं मस्ती कर कॉन्शियस एनर्जी इंटरनली आर यू रियली हैप्पी दैट्स अ बिगर पॉइंट नाउ व्हाट इज टैरो डू इट रीचेस दैट सबकॉन्शियस सेल्फ इट डजंट टॉक ऑफ अ कॉन्शियस सेल्फ इट टॉक्स अबाउट व्हाट यू आर गोइंग थ्रू इंटरनली व्हाट इज इट दैट इज बॉदरिंग यू इमोशनली मेंटली फिजिकली एंड व्हाई इज दैट बॉदरिंग यू एंड हाउ कैन आई हेल्प यू टू हील हाउ कैन आई गाइड यू टू वर्क इन टू इट and that's why tarot is beyond just predicting it's it's a lot to deal with it's counseling it's healing it's guiding you know and i just genuinely feel that if nothing else you know we are here to listen to you because you can't because go and on life coaching it's absolutely not that's why that's why most of tarot coaches call themselves life coach also you yeah, have to have to become a part of it yeah awesome. that is the basic understanding sorry if i i speak a little bit more but no, i think no, please is- do i can listen to you all day all night on repeat thank you so much thank you for saying that you young girls are saying that's a blessing for us but uh, genuinely i want to talk about them because as i said i'm consciously working on women and you know we women have been brought up in an environment where we were consciously told to adjust to compromise and that is the thing that is you know creating a lot of issues in our married life in our life these days so we need to really talk about them so that is a basic understanding of the conscious and subconscious self and when i when you ask me the next question which is that how do we get into it and as i said that this is a part of us we have that intuitive powers we can reach our subconscious by just doing some meditations by just you know maybe if i need counseling and healing that's very important so first to encounter our own self to accept that i have certain issues that i need to talk about because yes healing starts with you but in this journey one thing i realized that by healing others you get healed heal yeah that is so true because when i started i wasn't healed really i just started because i had no choice i had to pick up on my income i had to take care of my child i had to do something to change his life and i started reading for people i started doing their readings and i realized one thing hum hamesha upar dekhte hain niche nahi dekhte और जब मैंने देखा कि यार लोगों की लाइफ में कितनी प्रॉब्लम्स हैं बियॉन्ड दैट आई कैन थिंक 
and still they are going on they're struggling is when i actually started feeling gratitude of what i have and i started thanking the universe that you know i'm still blessed my child is with me the people who you know who go through divorce and the child do not want to move in with them or the the husband don't yes. allow that i was looking at a lot of good things and that is when eventually i started getting healed you know i started opening up and i started realizing that where am i going wrong what is it that i need to really work, work into because ultimately we have to work into ourselves only we can't change the world around us we need to understand what it is that i need to take in this journey we are here for our own karmic lessons huh? not for anyone's karmic lessons that we keep talking and we keep getting bothered this one has done this to me ye aisa hai wo that is their journey you talk about your journey this whatever is happening around you is to, to teach you certain lessons have you taken those lessons that's very important so that will happen it's a process and you will reach there you will realize that you will reach there very easily because you when you'll be reading for people the intuitions are actually working for you you are a part of the channel you just have to follow one thing be ethical as a reader be ethical when you are a part of this journey because god has chosen you to help people a lot of people are misusing this thing you know i mean the kind of things that people doing in this journey of spirituality is not right you need to be ethical enough and then if you are a part of that ethicality and honesty and you really want to help people i think you automatically become a channel you know god is there for you to guide you and we are just a channel to reach people so that will happen on its own my students get that on their own i don't have to i just, have, I just tell them to start with meditations simple meditation don't make it like very don't sound it big simple just sit with yourself just focus on your breathing i give them some meditation tips or if nothing you can just put on some music you know sometimes if you feel a little low um i share with them a lot of mu- uh, meditation music that they can follow and just start with simple way and then you can eventually move into the complex way of meditation also when you feel comfortable into it and it really helps wow beautiful i can literally like every single thing you say it's like striking a nerve So I don't know maybe it is your intuitive powers but I'm loving it. So all in all what I discovered is ki isko to aap life ke har area ko improve karne ke liye use kar sakte ho. Yes, yes, so, absolutely everything. Yeah, literally like everything. So aisi koi story hai aapke paas ki any student or maybe any reading that you did that this was astonishing to you also. Ki ye to kuch hatke hi ho gaya. Yeah, so I think uh, मैं एक ऐसे तो बहुत सारी रीडिंग्स होंगी बट आई वुड आई ऑलवेज डिस्कस दिस विद इन माय कम्युनिटी आल्सो एंड आई ऑलवेज शेयर हाउ एज अ रीडर वी कैन एक्चुअली वर्क इनटू चेंजिंग पीपल्स लाइफ एंड हाउ टारो रियली हेल्प्स टू टेक दैट राइट डिसीजन सो आई विल टेक थ्रू वन ऑफ माय क्लाइंट सो शी वॉज माई रेगुलर क्लाइंट एंड बिकॉज नाउ एम नॉट टेकिंग रीडिंग्स फ्रॉम द लास्ट टू ईयर्स रीजन बींग आई एम मोर इन टू कोचिंग एंड आई स्टॉप टेकिंग रीडिंग डोंट रिली गेट द टाइम एंड आई बिलीव दैट दिस इज अबाउट टाइम एंड एनर्जी सो आई don't want to do it for the sake of making money i want to do it when i have the time to do it so this was a time when i was reading and there was a client who was a regular client and i think she had uh, already crossed 30 and you know when you cross 30 you know you are always worried about finding the right partner whereas i still feel that 30 is still young i don't know why people think this way <laughs> yeah i think 40 is still young because i'm 42 now so i used to tell her like just don't worry but she was very financially you know independent she was doing well in her career and so she always used to feel that i hope i'll find the right partner in terms of you know that guy will also be equally at my level and he would accept me and of course he's not misusing me or marrying me for my money you know those things are a part of everyone's life so one fine day she came to me uh, for a reading and she said harpreet you know abhi maine ek ladka dekha hai mere parents ne ek ladka dekha hai i'm getting married in the next one month and card wards sab chhap gaye but i wanted to read for this boy एंड आई मैंने आस्ट कर दी क्या अभी अब तो कार्ड वार्ड छप गए क्या हो गया इज ऑल ओके तो शी सर यहाँ मेरे को ना दो चीजें रीडिंग करानी है एक तो यू नो आई दिस डाउट अबाउट हिम विच आई वॉन्ट टू चेक विथ यू एंड दूसरा यू नो ऑफकोर्स मेरा सेम क्वेश्चन है कि आई होप इज नॉट मैरिंग मी फॉर माई मनी इज नॉट बिकॉज वो एक दिन आए अगले दिन उन्होंने रिश्ता पक्का कर लिया इतना जल्दी जल्दी सब हो गया दैट आई एम रियली थिंकिंग दैन वॉट्स रियली हैपनिंग यू नो सो आई अंडरस्टूड एंड आई सर ओके फाइन डोंट वरी विल डू दैट रीडिंग and we were just doing her reading and uh, the we, when we take out spreads also now you would also know that for a, for a particular reading hum ek spread use karna padta hai so i was used using the spread very common spread called the past present and the future now her question was we also need to understand the question her question was ye jo ladka hai ye uh, you know she used to he used to ask her a lot of questions like for example obviously i was 30 plus hai to have you been dating people and aajkal hum log honest hain bahut achhi baat hai 
I still remember my time when my when in my arranged marriage situation, my mother was like, "Keep your mouth shut, don't speak a word," you know. <laughs> and now I relate to that point of view. So obviously she was open enough, and she was. Ah, uh, अभी तो हम बहुत open minded हैं. And she said, "Yeah, I've been dating a lot of people because obviously you know, मैं अभी तक बैठी तो नहीं रहूँगी ना. I've been dating a lot of men." The second question that he asked her was, "Have you been physically involved?" And again, we are very honest people. So she, in her, in that honesty, shared with him that yeah, I've had physical relationship. We're mature enough. Now this guy started demeaning her on a day-to-day -day note, telling her that I'm marrying you. You know, जबकि तुमने तो कितने लोगों से रिश्ता बनाया है, मैं तो अभी तक सोचा हूँ, मैंने तो कुछ नहीं किया है. I have never had a girl, and I've never had a physical relationship. And you had physical relationship with many people. I'm still marrying you. You know, all those things were coming to her. And so her question was that is he saying the truth? क्या वो सच में किसी के साथ नहीं रहा है इतने सालों में हर क्वेश्चन वाज दिस इफ आई वाज हर आई वुड हैव आस्क क्या वो सच में मेरा सही लड़का है जो मुझे रोज दी नहीं बट शी वाज मोर क्यूरियस टू नो कि जो इतना बोलता है कि मैंने तो किसी को डेट नहीं किया आई नॉट बीन फिजिकली इन्वॉल्व इज दैट रियली ट्रू शी कुडंट बिलीव दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नाउ व्हेन आई वाज रीडिंग अबाउट दैट बॉय आई सॉ दिस पास्ट कार्ड ऑफ वी डू अ पास्ट प्रेजेंट फ्यूचर आई सॉ अ पास्ट कार्ड ऑफ he's been connected with somebody and there's been some mishapening to that relationship there's been cheating that happened in that relationship and i and i told her that what i feel that he's been into a relationship in the past where something went drastically wrong and since that he's become very judgmental about women you know and i think there is a problem and either he works into it or it's going to become very tough for you because you work in an environment where you meet boys every day when you you know surrounded with a lot of men yeah. and he is not in that mindset his mindset has changed completely he has trust issues big time now obviously as a girl she said kuch kar do ab logo ko lagta hai ki na hum hum na kuch jadu ki chali ghumayenge aur kuch to ho jayega meri shaadi hone wali hai ek mahine mein shaadi hai kaise main kuch karu aap please kuch kar do something to do with i told her see to do something the guy should be willing to work on to himself main kisi secondary pe to kuch nahi kar sakti i can walk into you or if the guy is willing to change himself he should accept and he should come and take counseling because he needs counseling for sure jab tak wo steel se bahar nahi aayega he would never be able to live a happy life whether it's with you or anyone else ab then she starts ki ma'am then mere to ek mahine mein shaadi hai main kya karu ye wo i said you know i genuinely feel that i like i always like to give that mirror image and like let's let's go ahead okay i tell her okay let's take a situation you marry him okay you say all right chalo koi baat nahi जो भी है आई आई गो हेड विद मैरिज बिकॉज अब तुम बोल रही हो भाई एक महीने के बाद शादी है रिलेटिव्स को बदल गया फैमिली क्या बोलेगी यू थिंकिंग ऑल ऑफ दिस राइट सो इट्स ओके लेट्स लेट्स गो हेड विद द मैरिज वुड यू बी कंफर्टेबल इफ यू आस्क यू नॉट टू मीट अ गाय वुड यू बी कंफर्टेबल इफ यू क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दैट्स वॉट ही वॉज डूइंग राइट नो ऑल्सो वुड यू बी क्वेश्चन यू ये कौन है उसका क्या कर रही थी क्यों गई थी वुड यू बी कंफर्टेबल विद ऑल दैट बिकॉज यू आर अ वेरी इंडिपेंडेंट वोमेन यू नेवर लाइक टू बी क्वेश्चन शी से नो एब्सोलूटली नॉट मैं कैन इट्स टाइम टू री थिंक एंड आई डोंट थिंक इन मैटर्स कि कार्ड्स बढ़ गए हैं या फैमिली कुछ लग गए आई ऑलवेज बिलीव कि शादी मंडप पे भी टूट जाए इज बेटर देन शादी के बाद जो लोग इतने सारे कॉन्सिक्वेंस से गुजरते हैं दैट्स अ मेंटल ट्रॉमा एंड डिवोर्स इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू यू नो गेट इन टू दैट्स अनदर जर्नी एंड लोग क्या कहेंगे इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉक टू योर पेरेंट्स डिस्कस इज आउट बिकॉज वी ऑल्सो डिड दिस रीडिंग अबाउट दिस बॉय दैट इज ही आफ्टर हर मनी एंड वी केबल द फैमिली इज एक्चुअली मैरिंग दैट गर्ल बिकॉज ऑफ हर स्टेटस and we also figure that out and i just told her one thing go confront him tomorrow you'll get the reality check and she did confronted him and he accepted and she came back to me after he said ma'am thank you for saving me from this marriage wow so that yes. is sometimes we have to go there we just see as a reader what people think ki mujhe itna kyun mehnat kar rahi hai mujhe to reading karni hai bahar nikal rahi but you know sometimes we have to also counsel them बिकॉज आई ऑलवेज बिलीव दैट वेन यू स्टार्ट थिंकिंग दैट आपके सामने जो व्यक्ति बैठा है जो क्लाइंट बैठा है वो सिर्फ क्लाइंट नहीं है वॉट इफ इट वॉज योर सिस्टर वॉट इफ इट वॉज योर ब्रदर वॉट इफ इट वॉज अ फैमिली मेंबर अ फ्रेंड तब भी क्या आप सिर्फ रीडिंग करते पैसे कमाते हो चले जाते आप सोचते ना यार मैं आज इसके पास बैठी बस मौका है आई कैन चेंज हिज और हर लाइफ आई कैन गाइड दैम दे गोइंग इन टू अ रॉन्ग डायरेक्शन मुझे उसको समझाना है बताना है आई डोंट वॉन्ट दम टू गो थ्रू वट आई हैीन थ्रू इन माई लाइफ and that is how i work into this journey and that's why my clients still data like up se reading leni aur mere paas actually me time nahi hai but they still don't want to leave me because i work like this with my clients so this is just one example there been many many examples so like, we will get to know a few more because there has to be many interesting ones 
Yeah. But this is huge. You can literally make or break anyone's life with this. Absolutely. That Amazing. is a responsibility we have also. So we need to take this more seriously yeah. as a reader. We have to be experienced. We have to be knowledgeable. We can't just start reading, watching Google videos, YouTube videos. Yes. We can't start reading by using a deck that has a meaning into it. And we have not even, you know, specialized in that zone. It's like becoming a doctor by just going through the YouTube videos or you yes. know, finding information on the Google. We need a mentor. We need that right path. That structured knowledge is very important. Yes, definitely. So any beginners who are looking to start in tarot, this is the woman you should go to. This is Thank the you. ultimate. Wow. Thank you. So the subconscious vision is ultimately your reflection of childhood or the past experiences that you have been through. Yes. And it will be in your future. Mein pakde, if you have not dealt with them. Bahut zyada. And, I, and I'm saying this out of my own experience. I actually, I have never dealt with them. But now when I see them, I know where it is coming from and I need to work on them. So do you think I'm not working on them right now? So, you know, the life is about working consciously onto your path. So we have yes. to work every day on to, you know, reaching that subconscious healing us at each level. So it will keep happening. So healing is a part throughout our life, you know, so we should not wait. Ki, main heal ho jaungi, phir main karna shuru yeah. Keep going because you will learn so many things in this journey and you'll keep getting healed on your own. You realize a lot of things. Any particular things that you use to get healed? Like any particular suggestion that you give to your students that you can practice this for a fast healing or something? So one is meditation. Uh, now depends on the what level of healing do you really need? Like what is the hmm. level of healing? So meditation is very important. But sometimes what happens when we are going extreme level of uh, issues, so we are going to do meditation for us. It's impossible. You know, because hum, and I understand because we are already so disturbed. We are not going to be able to sit with There is so much disturbing element. So of course, take healing sessions, counseling sessions. You know, they are very important. You know, if again, so that's why as a reader, what I do is that I first try to understand what is the level of healing you require. You know, sometimes we are good enough to heal our own self. Like it's not that huge a problem. But sometimes we need help. We need to go to those counselors, those healers. If we need a healing session, if we need counseling session, we need to talk about it. And we are scared to talk. That is a big Very. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for watching the episode till the end. I'm highly grateful to you. My intention with my podcast is to show you what actually is in your heart to get you enrooted to your journey to yourself and to equip you with so many sciences, techniques and habits that will help you get the goals and lifestyle that you've always dreamed of. This is what's in my heart. So do let me know in the comments what's in your heart and what did you feel while watching these episodes and what were your key learnings. Do subscribe to the channel for amazing content on personal development, ho'oponopono healing, effective communication and public speaking. If you haven't seen the previous episodes of this podcast, please go to the playlist and watch them. If you want to get connected with the amazing guests of today, please go to the description and check out the links of their profiles. Of course, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video and share it with your friends, relatives or any person that you think would find this valuable or useful. Put down your learnings, queries or feedbacks in the comments and I will see you in another enthralling episode and with a lot of content among these areas. So until next time, keep learning, keep teaching, keep collaborating and keep spreading love. Love, love. Adios.